Yo, what's up? Just gotta, um... Get my stream here. One moment. I love you, pro. Hello, Ayman. Thanks for joining. Gotta set up my uh, windows here so I can see all the chats and stuff. Dog Fred, hello, what's going on? Vivian, what's going on? Hello, Andreas, hello. Hello, Irina, hello. Hi, Edo. Greetings from Italy, Sardinia. Oh, nice. Uh, enjoy your uh, vacations, it seems like. Nick Beloy, oi. Hello. Met Mostafa. I don't have that much internet. No problem, dude. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, from your vacation, dude. <laughs> That's very nice. Hello, Jake, Jack Wood. Hello, EBMC. What's going on? Um, hello, Sir Transformator. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? What were the camera settings for this? This is actually shot on a smartphone camera. I shot this on my Google Pixel. So uh, I just wa want to show you that you can also um, get a nice image using your uh, smartphone actually. So this is not the most expensive smartphone by the way. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to challenge myself here. Salut from Luxembourg. Hello. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Hello. Die Bilderei. Let's get up. Shutter speed, aperture, ISO. Um, I don't know if you can like... I just set my ISO and aperture. So... Uh, ISO is on 100 and uh, the aperture is on 1.8 and shutter speed on 1 for 90th. But that's kind of strange. Yeah, this was shot on a smartphone anyway, so... Maybe those numbers are not that... Um, Realistic. Hello, Rita Brazil here. Hello. Hello, Emotion Designs. Dame. <laughs> yeah. Lots of love from India. Nice. Oh my god, you greet everyone. That's so nice. Yeah, I try to catch up with your messages here. Snap for fun. Hello. Hi, Gadgets Mates. What's was good? Hello, Yanni. Hello, brother. Love from India. Nice. Nice to have you here, guys. Logi, what's going on? I would thanks in half half a bar hour and um, I'm out fishing. Oh yeah. Oh no problem dude. Have fun at fishing. Hello Mirai Miraj. Hello ABD Design. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hello from Switzerland here actually. Mohammed, hello, what's going on? Um wave back to you. Greetings from Brazil, hello. Hello, are you? What's going on, man? <laughs> Greetings from Romania. <laughs> nice. Everyone from the world is joining. Wave back to you. Sign or sing Studio Paris. Uh, Stacy, what's going on? Love from London. <laughs> nice to have you here. Hi from Kiev. Oh, Kiev. That's nice. I, I actually want to travel to Kiev uh, one uh, someday when we can. Greetings from Ecuador. <laughs> what's up, man? Tu peux parler français encore? Uh, non, je ne parle pas français. <laughs> Actually, love from India. Hello, hoy uh, TG Tavia. Anna's photo, wave back to you. Okay, I almost got all your messages here. Okay, man, can't wait for it to grade my video. Oh, nice. That's that's cool, dude. Um, wave back to you, Israel. Hello, brother. Love from Bangladesh. Nice, nice to have you here. Much love from Morocco. Hi. C500 Hollywood Films, and that's nice, dude. Hello, love from India, loves you so much. <laughs> thanks, man, love you too. Hala Daira, hello, hello, fabulous photos, thanks. Yeah, you're famous, no, no, I'm not famous yet. But yeah, I tried to uh, start to edit this one. So, uh, as I said, this one was shot on my uh, smartphone, actually. This is not a camera shot, so that's why it lacks of qu uh, on quality, maybe. But uh, yeah, I will see what, what I can get out of this picture. I didn't edit this one before, so I'm not quite prepared. So um, yeah, I'm wondering myself what I can get out of here. 
So let's start with the dodge and burn assist as usual. Um, get that contrast in so I know where to dodge and burn. Alright. Using a brush with a flow of 1% here. A white brush, don't forget that. And then I try to get those transitions right. But uh, I'm kind of close here so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, gotta check your messages here again. Columbia, hello man. Uh, buenos dias. Hi from Texas, US. Nice dude. Hello Linda. Hola Danny. Hola amigo. Angelo. I'm from Brazil. Nice. Nice to have you here. I really love your work. Nice. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad to know that. To hear that. Uh, wow, co come to Kiev. I will make photo shoot. Yes. <laughs> I, will, I will get there some someday. If uh, Corona maybe uh, stops, we we'll try. Brian Drummer, <laughs> hi man. Much love from uh, Cardigard, India. Oh, nice. Adored. A lot of uh, Indian people here. J'adore ton, j'adore ton travail. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe. A... Oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Amazing shot. Thank you. Grüße aus Wien. Uh, vielen Dank, Grüße zurück aus der Schweiz. Love the backlit. Thank you, Linda. Uh, I love backlit sh uh, shots. And this was even shot on a phone, so uh, pretty decent for a phone uh, backlit shot. Uh, pretty happy with the result here. But yeah, let's see what we can uh, get out of this edit, actually. So I start with a dodge and burn layer, as usual, to get the transi transitions smooth here. So I got a lot of harsh um, shadows, trying to fix that, so everything looks pretty smooth. So yeah, I, I dodge right now, so that means I'm uh, removing those uh, harsh shadows to make them blend in a little bit better with our highlights here using a really soft brush. So I'm using a brush of uh, with a flow of 1% to get rid of those. So yeah, I'm just painting over pretty roughly actually, not, not really precise, but I can show you the mask afterwards. I just try to get through this here. So I will get back to your messages really soon. I just want to like keep my eye on here. So uh, I know where I dodged already. Otherwise I will get lost re uh, really quick. And yeah, I do this on a black and white layer because uh, colors can really confuse your eyes sometimes and uh, you don't want that. So you can stay focused here with a black and white layer. So this is also uh, a so-called um, dodge and burn assist or visual aid. Nice, so. All right, let's do a quick before and after here. Before and after, so far. So before and after. Uh, much love from India, your edits are awesome. Thank you so much, man. Hi from India, <laughs> all Indian peoples here. Hi, 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 <laughs> Irina, what's going on? Hi, bro, hello, Harshal, what's going on? Um, wave back to you, Milf. Hello, Gur Sangha. Yes, bro, nice. Are you using Lightroom at the moment? No, I'm uh, in Photoshop already. I just did the Lightroom adjustments in, uh, yeah, in Lightroom. I can show you what I did in Lightroom before. Um, so this is the image after Lightroom and this was before and uh, yeah, this is after. Uh, Visio FFA was fun, nice, <laughs> good to know man, thanks for participating actually. Olivia, hi, wave back to you. Hello from Brazil, hello, hola, it's 11, uh, 15 p.m. here, oh, already um, pretty late. Oh, why are you still up? Um, hi from Brazil. Oh, thanks, 
Andre, thanks for joining on YouTube. I'm actually also streaming this on YouTube, guys. If you are interested to check out uh, a better quality and not the chat in the foreground and stuff, you can also um, check this stream out on YouTube, actually. Uh, can you give us some basic tips for editing and better pictures overall? Yeah, um, for better pictures, you have to like understand light. Uh, because photography is all about light, and uh, I, for myself, I'm using a reflector on every shoot now since I got one because you can shape the light a little bit with the reflector so you're not stuck with only one background. You can still move around and uh, also like moving the light or can you can you say that? I think so. So um, using a reflector can immediately up your photography game. Another tip is to shoot like a lot from every angle and that helps a lot so you know what works for you and what doesn't work for you and you also know how your gear works. So uh, that's a big recommendation. And uh, yeah, go out and try a lot and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new stuff. Or maybe try stuff you see on Pinterest or on Instagram. So it's a lot about um, trying out and go out and practice. It's all about photography. So let's move on here and reveal those shadows on the left side. So I'm gonna dodge and burn here. Yes, I switched from IG to YouTube. Nice, Emma. Thanks to have you here. Hi from Pune, India. Oh, nice. <laughs> All Indian people here. I gotta, I gotta learn Indian then. <laughs> so many Indi Indian people here. I cannot speak in. Um, yeah, you have a lot of uh, like languages over there. I don't even know. Okay, I get rid of this shadow here on the side. Okay, let's see what we've done so far for uh, dodge and burn. So before and after, not that bad. Yeah, maybe I will get rid of the shadow here on the left side a little bit more here using the burn tool so I can blend, blend it in here a little bit better. Just like that. Maybe dodge even more here on the shadow side. Getting back to your messages soon, just doing some uh, adjustments here. I hope this is enough. Yeah. Okay, here's something I want to fix. Oh, this is too big. Okay, this looks pretty fine. And this is the dodge mask and this is the burn mask. Maybe I'm gonna fix this a little bit here with the burn. Switch to our brush tool again. Burn a little bit in here. Okay. Nice. Agreed. I can be your model at Keith. Can I be your model at Keith? Yeah. <laughs> if I don't forget it, <laughs> you can actually, I, I guess. <laughs> when I get there. Gorgeous photo. Thank you, Christopher. All the way from South Africa. I love your work, bruv. Thanks, man. Thanks, fam, for joining. <laughs> um, wave back to you, Horshaw. Was, du sprichst auch Deutsch? Ja, klar, ich spreche auch Deutsch. Äh, ist meine Muttersprache, also ähm, Schweizerdeutsch. Aber ja, genau. <laughs> uh, thumbs up, thank you. India, well, what? I will explain in Hindi properly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. But but do you use dodge and burn tool or curves? Uh, no, I, I use the curves tool, or uh, I use curves for dodge and burn. Yeah, I I used um, the dodge and burn tool before, but you cannot like uh, re erase something. You have to like um, yeah, you you have to like if you use the dodge and burn tool, it's not like um, you cannot go back with the steps. You can cannot like um, 
just go one step back you have to like remove the whole uh, mask so you have more control with the curse layer in my opinion I, li I like it more personally but yeah it's uh it doesn't make a big difference in quality so it's all up to you what you want to use okay so i'm gonna do the contouring here just saw something i want to fix on this side okay so uh, adding some highlights to the brighter sides here to emphasize her face so adding highlights here on the cheeks on both sides also here on the lips where it's shiny already also here and everywhere yeah just like that and now i'm gonna add some shadows but let me paint over those eyes here okay so now i'm sh adding shadows to adding some depth in her face also here around her uh, rims of the eyes so and i'm not going to in too precise here i'm just painting over so and this is already enough for me now i'm gonna paint over like around her face to make it a little bit slimmer let's see here just like that and let's do it before and after here real quick before and after and this is just the contouring so um, emphasizing her face <laughs> I switched from IG to YouTube thanks man Shivi uh, I love love from India love your works on Instagram learning a lot from your editing breakdowns thank you so much Pranjal um, actually I have less time now to do those but uh, I try stop making me cry with your edits Danny boy <laughs> Rudolph you're too kind man <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Hind. Curves, that's what I thought. Yes, those are curves. Sorry, I'm gonna skip those Indian or uh, Hindi words because I cannot read those. Um, I love India. Oh, nice. <laughs> Akil, thumbs up. Yes. Dodge and Burn 2 can be destructive. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, how long do you use the brush to dodge and burn when... Do you know it's enough dodge or burn? How long do you use that? Um, I use it as long as um, I'm satisfied with the results. Otherwise, I have to add another curves layer to uh, get to fix those uh, harsh shadows, like really dark shadows. I gotta. Um, but usually, one layer is enough for dodge and burn. Quan, Quan Ryu, <laughs> hello man! Thanks for the hard eyes. Uh, be not oh hello nice work wave back from Spain all amigo hi from Merida Yucatan Mexico oh nice a lot of Mexican people and Indian people here um, when highly and shadows have smooth transitions yes exactly thanks for helping out um Kyo Kushin hello hi Kion Ryu again highlights yeah Hello Danny, hello uh, Edita, <laughs> hello bro Psycho Arash, 150 here in the Philippines, why are you still awake? <laughs> That's super late though, I'm new to modeling, what are the best poses to do when you're learning and taking photos of yourself? Um, I would highly suggest you to go on Pinterest and maybe type in uh, female poses, are you female? Yeah, Lisa Scott, yeah. Um, and then you can like copy them or try to copy them. This is like the easiest way to um, also show other people how they should pose. Um, yeah, in the beginning I just watched a lot of YouTube videos how to pose uh, models. Or you can like go on YouTube and search for how to pose people who are not models or so. And uh, there are a lot of vid videos how they show like easy poses and how you should pose on video if you if you don't want to check out only Pinterest photos so uh, I think that helps a lot because yeah no one is a natural modeler or 
it's it's kind of hard to model if you don't know if you have no mirror or something you don't know how you look like what are you doing please explain oh uh, i'm actually dodging burning her hair right now so i'm uh, i'm emphasizing her hairs and adding depth by burning shadows and highlighting brighter areas so let's see Just like that. And yeah, this shot was actually shot on my smartphone and I used a reflector here, of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to maintain the structure of her face and also shooting backlight. So uh, that's a huge factor here. Okay, let's close all those layers here and group those together and call it skin. So this is for the skin before and after so far. Let's uh, zoom a little bit closer and see the results. So before and after. Nice. Now we can uh, add some colors and stuff and go crazy with the colors. All right. So um, let me catch up here. Um, I'm phase one problem. Many times I correct CC on laptop. Or PC, but then I see a mobile or other devices the color looking so misbalanced color. Can you give any tip for that? Yeah, I had that problem <clears throat> too, like a lot. And I actually calibrated my monitor, and um, I I really like literally holded my phone side by side uh, to the monitor and calibrated my monitor manually with the functions it has in inside of the monitor and also with the graphic cards um, settings so I can get the most accurate um, colors like on my phone yeah that's how I did it so I struggled a lot with that not in fact hello thanks for joining I have the same problem yes yeah so definitely try to hold your smartphone side by side to, the, to your monitor and uh, play with the settings add, adding some uh, reds, greens and blues until you get the same colors like on your smartphone. So this is, um, this is what I did for my monitor. And that helped a lot because um, I, I had to export my photos like for 10 times or so until the, the colors were right. So... Um, a huge um, time time uh, saver. <clears throat> so every every monitor is different. So I cannot tell you a general um, uh, like a general way to go. All right. So gotta catch up with your messages here again. Uh, sorry if I didn't answer them right ahead try to do it here dodge and burn yes are you dodging doing masking yes i'm using masks to um, color grade you, you're gonna see it like right now in a couple seconds lisa scott yeah hope it helped with the tips um uh, good thanks for for um helping out here as a mod <laughs> Hello studio hamid curves with mask yes exactly share your youtube channel uh, live link or tell us the channel name so that um, it's in my bio you can check out my youtube link in the bio i have a link tree or something like that and and you can join it over there uh, rafael hello wave back to you hi there jacob from india hi jacob what's going on i'm from uk oh nice the rainy uk's how's the weather over there hello Prijan. how are you doing uh i'm i'm fine thanks how are you hey there king <laughs> i'm not the king um, but I try, I try my, my way up there. I'm a fan of your photography, dude. Thanks, man. Hindi and Punjabi is my main language in India. Oh, okay. I think you have like three, three different languages or so. Hi from Israel. Hello, man. You use an assistant photographer with a reflector or with a stand? No, <laughs> I, I hold my reflector by myself. Also here and the phone. Everything, uh, I do it by myself um, the most of the time hi from israel hello uh hello rafael check my profile nice um 
amazing man gotta do see you yes uh, see you man thanks for joining uh abdo hello lujain uh hi man hello cool hi uh lujain are you using the latest photoshop 2020 i'm facing the problem with mask like you have too yes i'm using the 2020 version actually uh what what problem do you mean this is awesome hi from las vegas hello man the real mr janto nice joining from uh, the gambling city <laughs> hi there jacob from india hi man hello jacob hello from uh, uzbekistan hello you use an assistant photographer uh no i do it by myself as i said i do curves too nice uh, yeah curves is the way to go for dodge and burn at the pics hello olaf we hi r2 from uganda or uganda hello man do you use high pass filter to sharpen skin no i don't use high pass filters uh will this recording be available on youtube as i missed the initial part yes it's gonna stay on youtube for a couple while I, I think um so yeah let's uh, try to do some um colors here so um let's open up our color wheel usually i don't use it but just um to show you guys i want to turn the greens here into a blue look so let's see what we have here um let's implement those colors actually we are here on the green side uh also here greens and yellows so yeah let's see what we have here so oh this is a blue so we actually have those green um, colors here let's move those away okay so what what i have to do now if i want to turn those greens into a more teal or blue look I actually go with the blue look I think or teal so um, I have to add some blues to the greens so I open the green channel here and adding some science and blues and the opposite of yellow is blue so I'm turning the slider to the left on the yellow um, on the yellow tab and also turning those signs up and this makes the greens a little bit more tealish as you can see here nice okay so this is not enough yet so i try to uh, make it more tealish in the science tab since we are here in the science let's see if it even affects anything yeah a little bit so let's move it like that and probably we have to add another layer to move them greens even more so let's do that add another selective color layer here and adding some blues to the greens again and yeah now we're in that part now we can also go crazy with the signs here yes as you can see we are here in the blue or tealish look here as we wanted to maybe play with the blues here or yeah let's let's play like that so we have some purples also here so we have not only blues and then I'm gonna change the yellow tones in the back to an orange tone, but yeah, I'm gonna show you that in a couple seconds. Just go and try to catch up with your messages here. You guys going crazy. Um, hello, bro. Ashish, Ashish Paul, what's going on? Uh, up here, what's, what's up, man? Wakanda forever. <laughs> yes, Wakanda, man. Uh, you're amazing, man. Thanks. Uh, Tuhin Ahmed. Machine. <laughs> Thanks, Manu. What's going on, man? <laughs> Shot by uh, everyone. Do high pass or for sharpness with 0 0.8 radius and linear uh, light blending mode. Yes, or vivid light also works. Um, hello. Uh, go rough. What's up? BLZ. Uh, hi, Danny. Hello. Okay, try to get your names here. Amazing work. Hello, Rajat. Thanks, man. Amazing photographs. Appreciate it. Um, pretty face. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice to have you here, uh, Natalia. What's going on? <laughs> this was the smartphone shot, actually. So, uh, hi from Las Vegas. Hello, man. Uh, I'm from Bangladesh. Hello. Shah, most welcome. I'm Indian too. Nice. Uh, can you show us some color grading tricks? Yes, I'm doing it right now, guys. Roshan, <laughs> hello. Push, pass for DM. Nice. Hello. Uh, wave back to you, Tatiana. 
Uh, you need to upload this on YouTube. Yes, it's already on YouTube. It's actually live right now and it's gonna stay for a couple days or weeks. Not sure how long I'm gonna let it there. Uh, why there's latency? You are reading our chats after a long time. Yes, yes I do because I try to edit and also try to catch up with your messages here. Irina Reichert. <laughs> Thanks man. What's good sir? What's going on? HP Creative. Uh, Jesus Danny. Uh, thanks Alvin, Le Fire Life, thank you. Uh, so this is before and after so far. Oh, I I see some uh, purples here because of the blue turn. So uh, let's mask those out here. I don't want the building to be uh, purple. So I'm gonna grab a black uh, a black color here and mask this out. And maybe also here on this side. I don't want the blue to be purple here on the sky. So this is a lot better. So now I'm gonna change the um, yellows into an orange. So I'm using a uh, quick selection tool. Click on select subject and Photoshop does the thing for me. Hello, uh, which app is this? This is Photoshop 2020. Yes, Elvin, thanks for uh, answering that question. Which time is best to shoot? For me, it's... Uh, sunset during sunset so golden hour is the best time for me to shoot i really like to shoot at that time um you can also shoot at sunset uh not sunset i mean sunrise because sunset i already told you you can shoot at golden hour just check out when the sun is going down in your location and then you can plan out those golden hour shots So let's mess this out here. All right, let's turn those yellows into an orange tone. So that means we have yellows here in the background and I want to turn them orange. So that means we're gonna add some reds here. So reds is the opposite of cyan as you can see on the color wheel. So I'm gonna switch or move the slider to the left and it's gonna turn orange. So let's see if that's right or if I'm lying here. Yes, it's turning orange as you can see and we can intensify that effect by adding some magentas just like that a little bit and that's obviously not enough so I'm gonna try to add another yellow um, yellow tab here play with the reds and then adding another layer here and playing with the yellows again going all the way to the left here and as you can see this is turning orange already and this is what I want to do here so this is the look I wanted to go for and this before and after so far not that bad and yeah as I said this is a smartphone shot so not not really bad guys so so the quality is kind of um, kind of strange so, um, um, can I get your WhatsApp number? <laughs> Why do you want my WhatsApp number? Did you place the subject on a different picture with the garden? Uh, which one do you mean? Uh, Photoshop 2020, yes, golden hour, yes, golden hour is the best. My G Danny is the beast photographer. Alvin, thanks, man. I got to go. Keep grinding. So, thanks for joining, man. Akil Hamad, wave back to you. Thanks, Gur. Lightroom tutorial will help a lot. Yes. According to what makes the photo eye catching. Um, so, what makes it eye catching is the subject separation. So, always make sure your subject is separating from the background. That means it should be well lit, like here. So, your eyes instantly go to the brightest part of the picture and this is her face right now because it has more color than the sky here um and i actually gonna turn the sky maybe to a blue let's see if we can do that yeah this is too much nah not gonna do that but yeah I'm, now i'm gonna separating the model from the background a little bit more with the curves layer just like that Making it a little bit darker, taking away contrast. Just like that. And as you can see, your eyes are 
instantly going to the subject here you're not getting lost with, uh, with the background maybe a little bit because it's so uh, colorful but um, usually your eyes should lead to your subject maybe I have a better example here yeah this was shot on camera you can see the quality is a lot better so this was shot on a smartphone and you can quite see the pixels here a little bit if you zoom super near or super close so I'm gonna widen her eye whites actually it's already pretty white so um, there's not a lot to do so I really like to just paint over and go in again and paint it right here just like that nice turning down the contrast or saturation no it's saturation also do it on the teeth if it's a little bit yellowish but I think yeah maybe I'm gonna still add it here just we have to just so we have to cover it up here um, all right just do it like that really quick here not that precise Okay, invert the layer and yeah here we go don't uh, overdo it because it looks kind of fake then so this is nice let's group these together call it color oh so just like that and this is the color grading let's see a before and after so far of the whole image all right. Let get me. Uh, let me get to back to your messages. I want to ask you some questions about photography. Um, you can ask it here, so I can uh, answer them all uh, for everyone. Um, hello, hi. Obscura photography. Hello, man. Unique clicks. Hi, uh, Samsky. Hello. I try to get <laughs> get everyone here. I'm actually. Uh, Akshay from India, you're doing well. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for joining. Global Dutch and Burn with 3D depth so that the viewer have focus on subject. Exactly. This is how you uh, make it interesting. Thanks. Uh, good edit. Thank you. Hello, Danny. Have a good day. Uh, nice. Uh, you too, man. Nicola Gomez. Uh, hi. Wave back to you. Revaj. Hello. Or Revaj. Hello, Raza Studio. Um, wow, man. Mitesh, hi. Good night, dude. Thanks for uh, joining, man. Thanks for helping out. Matteo, Salvi, photographer, wave back to you. You're so talented. Thanks. You use the wheel to find complementary color. Actually, I don't use the wheel. I just uh, showed the wheel so you can uh, catch up here uh, why I do certain stuff. Very good work. Thank you. Andreas Vilches, wave back to you. Iran, nice. Um, Privet. <laughs> I love you. Thanks, man. Hamid. Uh, do, do you use the whites, grays and blacks on selective color too when you're color grading? Actually, not that much. Um, sometimes I do, but uh, actually uh, mostly not. Hola, Makalu Films. Bro, what's... What about Capture... Oh, man. What about Capture One uh, 20 as RAW processor? It's better than Lightroom Camera RAW? I don't know. I never used it, so I cannot really tell. Uh... Okay, so um, I got some messages here. If the subject doesn't make, do uh, you apply makeup using, oh, makeup, using Photoshop or keep it natural. I never had a model really which didn't apply makeup, but I, I try to fix makeup. Um, I don't know how it would be if the model won't show up with makeup, but I, I don't really prefer to do everything in Photoshop, so... I'm adding some blush as you can see here. I already contoured the face which is also like emphasizing uh, makeup. But right now I'm adding blush here on the cheeks as you can see. I always do that. Um, but in general I don't really like to do a lot in Photoshop. So I want to have everything in the shot already. Or as much as possible. So adding some blush here and this looks kind of intense but yeah let me show you in a minute here 
Um, I'm turning down the saturation always. Just uh, adding a set of blush as you can see, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, just like that. And now I'm gonna enhance her eyes. Let's see if we have some informations here with a curves layer. Whoops. So let's invert the layer and then paint over with the 100% flow here. And that's, yeah, hardness is on zero already. So let's paint over the eyes. Okay, we have a lot. Yeah, this is too much, obviously. So I'm gonna also turn down the opacity here. Just like that. Yeah, this is, this is enough. So let's call this SFX. And uh, usually I also like to add a fake flare. Um, yeah, let me check your messages here. Hello from India. I'm, <clears throat> I'm following you for the last three to four months. I've learned a lot. Thanks. So, so glad you learned a lot. Hope I could provide you with some value. How do you make this selection red color? Um, just add a selective color layer here and then go to reds and then you can play around with the reds and don't forget to mask out the model because the model always have reds and yellows in her skin tone. Hablas Espanol? No hablas Espanol? I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Hi Danny, please give some better idea about local dodge and burn. Um, yeah, that's, that's uh, kind of hard to ex explain here. Have you ever needed to use frequency separation in metal of uh, dodge and burn? I actually use frequency separation for the skin or I mean the skin around her face usually um, because it's a lot faster sometimes um, yeah but not otherwise okay pro um, can you explain a lot about the Adobe color in a special les lesson yeah I try to um, I actually covered it up in my tutorial so um, if you want to check that out Abdullah hello inspiring stuff thanks man uh, totally in love with your craft. Thank you so much, David. David, uh, how much sharpen image quality? Um, I don't sharpen images too too uh, hard. I actually only sharpen it in her face usually, um, but I didn't sharpen her face yet. Power Studio, wave back to you. Oh, hello, Kevin. <laughs> What's up? Um, WB68404. What's going on? <laughs> hello, Ganbari. Hello. Uh, Espanol, hi. Uh, uh, which lens do you mostly use? I mostly use my 55mm 1.8 from uh, Zeiss. That's the best lens I have. More on fit, yes. Hognog <laughs> energy drinks. Unter meinem Tisch. Ich hoffe mal. Und wie schmatsch gesehen? Which software are you using for editing photos? I'm using Photoshop. Spanish, please. I don't speak Spanish. No plus Espanol. Um, so, um, yeah, unfortunately. Hello. Hi, DR, Photoshop 2020. Yes, I'm Kurdish. Oh, Salam Alaikum. Or Merhaba um, Nesesin. Demir Das Seynel. Hello, thumbs up. Click and blink stories, thumbs up. Hello, Danny. Hello, Goo Kid. What's up? Okay, I I'm almost done here. I almost got your messages, so uh, I really try to catch up here. I was talking about uh, sub separation above. Um, wait, w what do you mean exactly? Oswald Far uh, Du Farid, the uh, hard eyes, thanks man. Ximen, Ximena Log 66, wave back to you. Uh, S2 Ken, wave back to you. Photo man, also wave back to you. Uh, Gifson, Aguin, hi man. Claps, thanks. The game, the game was great. Yesterday I won the Swiss Cup and today I gave my de debut in the A national team. Nice. Um, congrats, dude. <laughs> Shaking that. Uh, that what was the name for poco in in English? I don't, I don't know, but uh, yeah, showing the biceps by holding up that uh, that prize. <laughs> have have fun and see you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Um, hello, Danny, photo man, official page. Hi, man, what's going on? Um, hola, I'm from Mexico. I love your photos. You're talented. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so this photo is almost done here. So um, let's let's start with this, or or maybe 
I'm actually going to add a, a fake sun flare here by um wait let me see where is where this is um somewhere here and photoshop and i just my uh lazy sun flare here <laughs> you can paint it by yourself but i don't i always use this one so let's add it like that And then turn down the opacity here. So just like that. Adding that uh, nice warm flare here. And also color grade it. Make it more orange. Just like that. Yeah. So this works pretty well. So this is the before and after so far, not that bad, for a, a smartphone photo. We stand together. Do you do all these edits with actions? Yes, I do use actions. I uh, just created my own actions, so um, I can use them all over again, like every time I use them, because I do almost the same thing in every edit, so uh, that really fastened up my workflow. Hey Danny, big friend from India. Hello Bishal, thank you so much for joining. Thank you, man. How do you export it and upload to IG to achieve good quality? Uh, quality. So, um, what I can recommend to do is go to um, export, say for web legacy, waiting until this opens because this lags sometimes, yes. And then just type in the Instagram canvas, which is 1350 to, um, to 1080. And then make sure it's on optimized and quality on 100. Maximum is 100, yeah. And uh, I think progressive is also um, ticked usually. And convert to sRGB and then you should ready to go. You can export it like that. And this is how I export my images, so. And I do sharpen the image before I upload it. Let's... Uh, Group this and call this flare. So how do you see the selection of the mask? Oh, um, you can just go, if you have a selection like this here, you can, uh, I'm on a window, so it's shift, alt and left click on the mask. Um, otherwise on a Mac, it's probably shift um, the Apple thing and left click. Uh, thanks so much for joining on YouTube, guys. Um, I keep the conversation going here. Really interesting uh, questions. Really appreciate these live sessions. Love the colors you give these photos. Thank you so much, Anuj. Glad you dig my um, color grading here. Why don't you edit pictures of men? I'm in a country that's forbidden to photograph women. I also added the man pictures um, at the very beginning, but I enjoy it more to do uh, like woman photo uh, uh, photography. I don't know why, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's not like I don't like man or something. I just like enjoy it more because of the makeup and stuff you have to put on and uh, highlights and everything. From where can I get the sun flare or how do you create it? Okay, I can show you how you create your own sun flare. So just add a new like empty layer and then go to your brush and maybe to an orange color. I hope I can do it right, I don't know. And then you can like um, have in here flow of 20% or so. Then click it once, open it, click it once again. And wait, let me, let me just test it. I think I made it like this. And then you can change the blending mode to screen. And then using selective color layers to actually color grade it just like that. It's a little bit more red now. Just like that. And then just add your mask. Wait, is it? Oh, this is the wrong one. So just like that. Oh yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, this is how you add your own flare, I think. 
it's not looking like yeah you can actually do like a gradient um, like a gradient one also but let, let me check if I have still my gradients um, flares because I created my own gradient flares but somehow it got deleted from Photoshop um yeah they deleted it somehow import do you have it some somewhere um presets okay let's see if i have it here presets oh okay uh gradient no they are gone looks like they're gone gradients yeah Yeah, I actually saved some gradients, but they are not here anymore. So yeah, usually you can also do it with the gradient. Um, where did I stop here? Um, man, you're a legend. Thank you. Thank, uh, no problem, Lucas. Thank you so much for your compliment. Okay, where did I stop here? You missed my chat? Yeah, um, kinda. <laughs> yes, <laughs> winning, winning team. Yo, Danny, which effect is that on the left with a lot of colors? Which one? Oh, you mean the color wheel here? Uh, MOBA, what do you mean? Uh, Sam Yon Yun, hello, thumbs up, thank you. Time to sleep, good night, bro. Uh, good night, my dude. Thanks for joining. Uh, wave back to you, Justin. I'm all good then. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? It's not an effect. It's just demonstrate how color was before. Okay. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> thank you so much for helping out. HK Suave. Um, wave back to you. Marina Schulz. Photography. What's up? Um, big friend from Ukraine. Hello. Love your work, bro. Thank you so much. Adore your work. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining and uh, for those kind words. Vielen Dank. <laughs> Marina Schulz. Is, isn't that German? I really, I'm really thankful for the tips you gave me. I'm going to try it out myself, portrait soon. Nice, uh, can't wait to see them. <laughs> try it. Uh, a boot editor, hello, what's the tool? At the left with the selective colors. Uh, it's the selective, uh, it's, it's a color wheel actually inside of Photoshop. You can uh, reach it by uh, going to Windows, Extensions, Adobe Color Themes, and then the color wheel should pop out like that. But this is just a guide, so it's pretty useless to the picture itself. You cannot color grade your images using the color wheel. Uh, so this is a misunderstanding, you uh, mostly. It's beautiful, thank you, Rudolph. <laughs> Stop showing off, Danny. I'm not showing off here. <laughs> just try to explain things somehow. Your work is always amazing. Danny, you inspire me a lot, bro. Thank you so much. So glad you appreciate, um, yeah, appreciate my work. Yeah. Como puedes hacer live de esta forma? I'm using um, Yellow Duck, so it's a uh, third uh, third-party application, so you can stream like that. Nice work, but I came in late. No problem. Thanks for joining, dude. Um, thank you so much for liking my post on Instagram. You're so kind. No problem. Thank you so much for uh, joining here. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um. So yeah, actually I have to um, finish another picture. Let's see. I actually wanted to finish a picture, which I'm gonna maybe yeah, I have like I usually edit like three or four or five pictures at the same time. I don't know. Um, what is the Instagram dimensions that you export with? Is is it 1080 to uh, 1350? Yes, it is. This is the Instagram canvas actually. Um works pretty well so I think I'm actually done with this edit just gonna add some uh, vibrance here the um, complementary colors here so just preparing my posts here uh, just before and after of this uh, image um yeah, actually gonna cut it then. Uh, cool. 
<laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um. Hello, hello, Serbu. What's what's up? Hello, Danny. Can you show your uh, Dutch and Burn brush settings? Yes, it's. Uh... Whoa, what's up? So um. This is actually a number brush somehow. Wait, why is my brush like that? Well, this is not my brush. Um, usually I use a soft round brush and then shape dynamics and also transfer. Making sure this is on pen pressure. So exactly shape dynamics and pen pressure about 20 to 30 percent transfer is also on here yeah just like that and these are my brush settings I use so uh, the Instagram live is gonna end soon like in five minutes so if you have any further questions let me know and I try to answer them when is your next uh, tutorial I would be there I would be here next time you mean the next live session I don't know I actually just um, start those live sessions randomly sometimes um, maybe I should do a schedule so you guys know when I do it and you can join hello from Vietnam nice uh, hi man my uh, toss of my oh I'm actually also from there but are my parents actually so uh, nice nice to have someone from Vietnam here um, yo, hello, Sigav. What's going on, man? Hello, Suave for me. Hello, Brazil. Hello, say so, yeah. Hey, uh, Alberto Dominguez. Hi, man. Thanks, Danny. No problem. Hello from India. Hello from Spain. Hello, hola, amigo. Hello from California. Great work. Thank you so much, man. Okay, so I try to uh, maybe start off with this picture here. So, um, yeah. The live is gonna end on IG anyways really soon, so um, thanks for joining guys. Before it cuts up, I just wanted to um, thank you all. I really appreciate your chat and everything. This makes it really interesting. I hope I answered all your questions you had. I tried to answer them as good as I can. Hello from Kuwait, hello man. How are you, man? I'm fine, thanks. How are you, dude? I see you look like Vietnam. Oh, thanks. <laughs> or, yeah, usually people say I don't look like uh, Vietnamese, but that's great if you if you can see it. If you can see it. Um, so, yeah. I usually start off with the dodge and burn assist here. And making that contrast so I can see those uh, transitions going on here. like that okay um hello Kenya hi man what's up from Kenya all the people joining here oh I'm yeah make sure your brush is on white so otherwise you won't even affect anything on the skin um hello divani how what's up thanks for joining this live is gonna end really soon on instagram so um in about one or two minutes i don't even know when it's gonna shut down i just um made a stopwatch here so i can see it because i don't see all the instagram features i actually can close this tab here so try to do some dodge and burn here on this skin as usual it's my first step really like your style I tried in Vietnam but seemingly not suits for Vietnamese really can you shoot over there I mean you have a lot of people there I don't know how it uh, works there or uh, how it works in other countries you have some models and stuff to find I'm from South Africa but working in Kuwait oh that's nice 
Nice, uh, nice dude. Hello, uh, Ali Kian. Hey, can you make a uh, tutorial on dodge and burn? Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard or tough to uh, uh, to cover. Oh, okay. Instagram live is just just ended here where you work. All right, so the Instagram live is over. Um, I'm just gonna end the stream here so I can work properly here. So let me close those stuff. Um, so OBS and everything, yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna stay for about five or five minutes or so, maybe here on YouTube. Um, so you guys can still um, ask me some questions and I try to answer them. So I do some dodge and burning here. As you can see, I usually dodge a lot more than burn. But that's me. Usually you should do both. But yeah, I don't know. I tend to dodge more. I should like um, reframe from that and start to burn a little bit more maybe start with burning so that doesn't happen all right so um just trying to get those transitions here pretty smooth as you can see this is a before and after so far not that bad usually i it takes me like um, 15 minutes or so or maybe 10 to 15 minutes to dodge and burn the face Um, yeah, in the past it takes me, took me like um, maybe one hour maybe, no, not one hour, but maybe 30 minutes to do like skin retouching. But now it takes me like, yeah, as I said, only 10 to 15 minutes, pretty, pretty good. Because retouching can be a pain though. So let's see, not that much to do here. If you light up your subject the subject really good, you don't have to spend a lot, to, um, a lot of time for um, skin retouching since it's really good lit up. So always make sure you don't have too harsh shadows or so and this is your worst enemy though. All right try to get those little trans transitions man my english is really not on point today i should do more lives or stories so i can learn english um also down here we have some shadows if you don't see it enough if you don't see it good you can like turn down the curves here so you can see all those shadows going on just like that. Trying to um, remove them. Don't remove all the shadows or it looks kind of fake. So I try to keep it natural. So always make sure to turn it on and off. Um, so you can see what you've done so far. So before and after. Not that bad. In about, I don't know, maybe um, 10 minutes or so. And now I'm going to add some contouring here using a flow of about 7%. Then painting over here and the highlights on the opposite of the catch light. So here between the eyebrows. So. Dude, how to create skin detail like Instagram <laughs> what do you mean like Instagram um, shuts down your details though so painting here around the mouth it's on the bottom side then adding highlights here on the cheeks also here um, then I see some shadows on the mouth wrinkles these are shadows you always have, so let's try to get rid of those. Sometimes I forget those. Just like that. 
Just paint over those shadows here. For a couple times and then that should work nice. Also we have here something, whoops. Could you share your raw files? Um, I actually did like FFAs where I, sh um, where I shared my raw files, but um, I mean I can sh I can like do another FFA soon maybe, um, maybe if I can get there, or um, yeah I try to figure it out. Maybe w I will do one soon. Um, let's add some shadows and then we're almost done with the skin actually. So it's, it's getting pretty hot with the soft light here. Um, painting around her eyes and on the outer rim of her eyes here. Okay, this is the shadow mask. Okay. I almost forgot where I painted already. Just like that, around her face. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, I think I'm done for today. Let, let me show you the before and after so far. This is for the skin. Uh, just like this. This before and after. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream now thank you guys for joining uh, I really appreciate it and maybe see you ne next time and thank you so much for uh, asking those questions uh, how long does it take you um, take for you to edit a picture usually it takes me about 30 to 60 minutes uh, usually depending on if I have to composite something or not but uh, I can like do a good picture in about 30 minutes if I want to but uh, sometimes I just chill and watch YouTube videos when I edit so it takes me like 30 to 60 minutes to edit one picture and also prepare the post and everything yeah so uh, thank you guys for joining and uh, I will see you next time guys thanks so much <laughs>